Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be a pretty cool video, uh, allowing you, uh, either you parents out there to watch, control, and, um, basically, uh, see what your kids are doing on the computer from either your iPhone or iPod Touch, another computer, um, just, uh, a source that can run the, a VNC viewer. I'm going to be showing you how to set up the VNC server uh, to work properly with Windows Vista so that you can connect to it through an IP. Um, <clears throat> I will not be showing you my IP, um, but I will show you how to do this. Uh, the first thing you're going to have to do is go to the link to the right and uh, scroll down and just click download and use. You don't even need to fill this in, just click proceed to download and click uh, VNC free edition for Windows uh, right there just click download um, you're gonna get an installer just install it and it doesn't take much it takes like two seconds um, and then in your start menu you're going to have a new program called real VNC um, it's probably gonna ask you when you install uh, a prompt is gonna come up for a password um, just type in anything uh, just type in the password that you would like to use as the password for the server so that not any old person can just drive by the street and look at your computer only you with the password um, what you're going to have to do is go to real VNC server configure user mode um, this is real easy just click VNC password authentication type in the password and again then click OK and then go over to connections and make sure accept connections on port is checked make sure it's going to say 5900. Make sure it's 5920. Uh, that's how you fix it for Vista. Um, and then leave everything else alone uh, and just click OK. Now, in order to use this, you're going to need a application on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, you're going to use... I use uh, Mocha VNC. Um, the paid for edition, it was $5. I definitely suggest... If you're going to get this and actually use it a lot, I suggest paying the $5 for it or getting it the uh, <coughs> correct way, um, but you don't need to worry about that. Um, there is a, a light version, but it's not. it has some missing features. There is other VNCs one, VNC ones, but this is, to me, the easiest one to use. Um, once you have everything configured properly for your VNC server, to get this little icon right here, just go to All Programs, Real VNC, User Mode, Run VNC Server, and it'll automatically run the server. Um, one of the things you can probably, uh, you're probably going to want to check is somewhere there is a way to there's an option to add it to your startup, but to me the easiest way is uh, to go to all programs, go to real VNC, go to uh, server, go to right click, copy, then go to your startup and paste it right into the startup. Um, or this isn't going to work just by copying and pasting. Um, what you have to do is you have to open the folder for startup and paste it in there. I didn't know that you had to do that, but obviously you do. So just put that in the startup, and every time the computer uh, starts up now, VNC will automatically run, and it's always the same IP and password no matter what. Now, to get this working on your uh, iPhone, I will be switching to my webcam to show you guys. The quality isn't going to be too great, but you will get the point. Alright, here we are on my webcam. Um, it's kind of blurry, it's hard, kind of hard to see because I am on a webcam, but that is the Mocha VNC Paid For Edition. I'm going to walk you through setting it up to work for an iPod Touch. Uh, it's the same exact procedures through an iPhone because it's the same app. For an iPod Touch, you're going to need Wi-Fi. Uh, obviously, for an iPhone, you just need an, the Edge or 3G connection. So you open it up, and this comes up. Just click on the, the orange button, just click on it. Uh, the top thing is going to say VNC server IP. Just click
click on that and now on your computer go over to the VNC and roll your mouse over it and it will tell you your um, IP um, obviously I am blocking this out so you guys cannot do anything funny to my computer um, so I, I'm going to uh, type it in real quick and uh, after I show you what else to do for the VNC server port obviously you're going to have to change that again to 5920 VNC password, type in your password. Okay, I'm um, pretty sure that's all you have to fill out. Uh, mouse with offset, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's it. Um, leave all those options alone. And all you have to do is make sure you have your IP, the server port to 5920, and your password. And I'm going to type in my IP now. and a note all IPs are going to say uh, 192.168.0.3 numbers those three numbers are the only real numbers you need to worry about everybody's IP is 0 0.192.168.0. Point, and then the three numbers is your exact IP now I'm going to uh, connect <coughs> And as you can see, here we are. We are connected. We can zoom in and out. Uh, right, the first option is keyboard. You just click the keyboard again to get out of it. There's another keyboard. There's the menu. Uh, refresh, disconnect, macros. Uh, you can take a screenshot to your photos. Um, this is how you right click the uh, fourth option and the uh, fifth option is if you have this uh, the right click uh, activated <coughs> and you click this it'll basically be a rollover instead of a click um, that's pretty much it guys this is how I set it up on iPod touch um, for the computer it's real real simple um, I'm going to be showing you this for the computer, all you have to do now is go to Start, All Programs, Real VNC, and then uh, VNC Viewer 4, and then Run VNC uh, Viewer. Type in the server, um, and then just click OK. It's going to ask you for the password. You type in the password, and that is all you need to do. Um, Obviously, you're going to have to install the VNC on the both computers that you want to do this on. You want to have the server running on the computer you want to be looking at, and then you use the viewer on a computer that you are going to be using to watch that other computer. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions at all, uh, please leave comments below. I uh, did figure a lot of this out on my own trial and error the only thing I didn't figure out on my own is the uh, exact port number I googled that um, but everything else uh, obviously I figured out so uh, if you have any questions just let me know and I will help you guys out I will talk to you guys later